Hey, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing Text Cortex AI. Now, there are tons of AI writing assistants on the market, but if you want a good quality tool that's not as expensive as some of the other options like Jasper, Writer, and Copy AI, Text Cortex is a strong alternative with some really good pricing. In this video, I'm going to walk you through all of the features and the pros and cons that you should look out for. So let's get started. If you're going to sign up for Text Cortex, make sure to use the link in the description so you can get a free trial and some free credits. So we're going to jump right in here. It has two primary features it has the browser extension and it has the creator suite which is the website editor the browser extension works when you highlight a piece of text you see this toolbar pop up underneath the text and you get all these cool editing features which we'll walk through and then the creator suite lets you start from scratch or select different templates that you can choose from and you can have an interface that looks like this or have an interface that looks like this and these two features can actually be used together as you can see the toolbar pops up here but you also get other features on the right side of the screen so that is the main overview of text cortex and they do have other features but i think all of these features fall within these two and you'll see me explain all these additional features as I go through the walkthrough. So let's start with the browser extension. As you can see, they have 7,000 users and pretty good reviews, but we're just gonna click add to Chrome, add extension, and then we're just gonna skip this. And then here is a tutorial. So all you need to do is highlight your text and then this toolbar is going to pop up as you can see right here. And this is the powerful toolbar. We're just gonna click next, submit, just like this, I didn't put an email, I didn't put a credit card, and I'm gonna pin it here, and we can see we have this extension installed just like that. And they have a pretty good free trial. You get 10 credits every single day for zero dollars, again, without having to input a credit card or even an email address. So now I'm gonna show you how this works. So let's just go to docs.new, and if we go to Google Docs, you can see right here, Text Cortex is integrated with this, and it's integrated with actually 1,000 different websites. So you can use it in Gmail, Google, Docs, Notion, all of the popular websites, even WordPress, every site that I've used it on so far, Text Cortex has worked, which has not happened with some of the other writing assistant extensions. But here we go. Let's say we want to write a press release, a new comparison website called Comparing AI that finds the best AI products, generate Introducing Comparing AI, find the best AI products. In a world filled with choices, it can be hard to know which product is right for you. Comparing AI is here to help. We are a new comparison website that helps you find the best AI products on the market so you can make an informed decision about what to buy. This is pretty good already. Now the main magic here is when you highlight the text, you will see the toolbar that pops up. And this is a little different than let's say WordTune, which I also have a subscription for. You can see the WordTune is here and you just click Command D. And then this is how WordTune works. And you can click rewrite, casual, formal with text cortex you just highlight the text and i don't have to press any keys it just automatically shows below and it has 10 features in this toolbar here so the first part of the toolbar here is called xeno mode now this is your personal ai assistant and you need the most expensive plan to get on that i only have the business plan but essentially with this you just give it your instructions and then it will create the outputs for you the next tab here is bullet point email so you can give it three to five bullet points and turn that into a meaningful message and i will go through examples of some of these third is long form post next we have rewrite so this is one i use very frequently and it just improves the structure and the wording the next one is of the expander so you can highlight a paragraph and let text cortex build on top of it and sorry i have another ai writing plugin here called wordtune it's kind of getting in the way but let's expand this sentence and see what happens so right now it says we know that there are a lot of options out there and it can be overwhelming to try and figure out which so we're going to click on that button and there you go it really gives us a lot here with so many options available it can be hard to decide which one is right for you everyone has different needs so it's important to take the time to do your research think about what will suit your lifestyle and budget so we're just gonna go with that and continue going through these features. So if we click rewrite, we go here and then it'll just rewrite. It can be difficult to pick out a suitable option since there are so many available, blah, blah, blah. So it gives us pretty good outputs here. The next one is completion. So you can highlight a paragraph and let text cortex complete it. Then we have translate, which is a really cool tool here. I don't really use it, but this is just really cool. You have 20 different language that you can translate this into. So let's say I want to put this paragraph into German. And there we go. We have a full German paragraph. Now, I don't speak German. I don't know how correct this is, but this is pretty incredible that you have 20 languages. And just like that, 
you can switch it into a different language. So let's put it back into English. The next one here is summarize. So you can highlight a paragraph and boil it down to the core message. So I'm on a free plan on this account. Let me bring this over into my paid account in a different browser. So here we are, we're in the main text core text editor. I will go through the other features in the editor, but right now let's keep focusing on this toolbar. So first let's actually complete this narrow down your choices and find the right product for you. And now I actually just want to think this is too long. So let's pretend that we're going to summarize this. Where is the summarizer right here? And it really just puts it down into one sentence completely. So the last tool we have here is the tone. So this gives you 13 different options and you can change the tone style from cheerful, decisive, casual, detailed, respectful, concise, warm, blunt, urgent, so let's try doing this into detailed. So Comparing AI is a new comparison website that helps you find the best AI products on the market. We provide detailed info about each product so you can make informed decisions about what to buy. I actually like that, it's a bit shorter. And let's do the same thing, try to make this more detailed. See if it makes it shorter as well. So there are a few key factors to consider when choosing the right software for your business. These include price, features, user reviews, and customer support. Considering these elements will help you find the best software for your needs. That is really good. I really like that tone change there. And now this is starting to turn into a press release that's more my style that I like. Now I actually skipped the text to speech one here. So this is another cool feature and this is free to use. And if you click this, it will do text to speech and read out your document to you. With so many options available, it can be hard to decide which one is right for you. If you're editing your documents and you want it read out loud to you, that is kind of a cool feature. Another way you can use this is let's say I want to get a news article. So quick tip, you can just click there, scroll to the bottom, hold shift and click again. That'll highlight the whole article. We're going to paste that article in here. We can highlight this whole article, click text to speech here, and then you're just going to give it a few seconds for it to load. Now we can play actually the entire article. Finders experts predict Bitcoin to peak at $29,000 in 2023, but forecast a low of 13000 So that could be a unique way to start getting articles read to you, read blog posts on the internet. So that is basically all the features in the toolbar. Now real quick actually, let's compare this to WordTune. With WordTune, it doesn't pop up automatically, but it's here, or you can press Command D as a shortcut, and it gives you only five outputs here, and you can select sentence or paragraph, so you can do it all at once or within sentence. I usually do it sentence by sentence. And then it gives you different tones, so this is just the general rewrite, and you can do a casual or formal tone, shorten, expand. So that's how Text Cortex compares to the WordTune extension. Now going back to the dashboard, we have the actual in-app editor, which is similar to the other platforms like Jarvis and so on. So if you look on the right side of the screen, this is where we get some of the other features. You can actually click this dropdown and you can see there are various templates. Right now we're in the AI text editor and you can see there's some inputs here. But if we switch it to, let's say, product descriptions, it'll completely change the inputs here for product descriptions. So let's do a star, let's do a Yoda t-shirt brand name, Star Wars. I'm just making this up as I go. Clothing, text length, let's do medium. And let's click create. Let's see what it pops up with. The Yoda t-shirt is an officially licensed Star Wars product. The shirt is made of 100% cotton and features a Yoda design on the front. So pretty good for just some basic inputs. I put in what, four, five, six, seven words and it came up with that. And then you have all these templates. You can do Instagram descriptions. You can see it shows up the Instagram here. You can do outreach emails and all the other templates here. Now let's go back to the text editor. The next section here is the text length. So you have short, medium, and long. And the standard is 200 words, then it's 400. And then with long, you actually need a pro plan. I'm not sure how many words that goes up to, but I'm only on the medium plan. And this is one of the downsides actually of Text Cortex. For long form content generation, it's a little bit slower because you can't do like a thousand words or anything like that. And I think they do that because every plan has unlimited words. So they don't want you just spinning out tons of words as quickly as possible. Then another cool feature here is you have the creativity. So you can select low, medium or high or default creativity, uh, depending on what you want the AI to do. And then the last one here is you have the language. You can auto detect or choose from 20 different languages here. Then you have the create button or the rewrite button. Now this is the main content editor. It's pretty simple and easy to get a grasp of. And when you put any text in here, then this extend text button will pop up. You can save the document. You can favorite it. You can copy it. You can add images and stuff like this. And I believe there is a way to export it to WordPress as well.
Now, if we go to the actual dashboard, you can see your words generated for the month. And the other thing I want to show you is the templates here, which is another way to access them. You can also click on, where is it? Creator here and see some of the templates. Now, if you pay for the highest plan at 79 a month, you will get over 60 templates, but I'm on the pro plan and this is the templates that it's showing me. And if you want to start a blank canvas, you can do that as well. And the third interface that they have is this rewrite button on the left side of the screen. And this is more meant for paraphrasing, rewriting, and expanding text. And you can enter any text on the left side of the screen here. So let's just take my website here, paste it on the left side. And let's say we want to expand on this. And that gives you some of the same inputs that we saw in the Creator Studio. Using AI tools is a great way to revolutionize your workflow, allowing you to get more done in less time. So amazing. Let's put that here. And now let's say we actually want to just summarize this because that's too long. And it gives us some outputs here. Now, sometimes the outputs are not amazing. So you kind of have to learn how to work with it. But let's go detailed here. Usually the detailed one is good. It also does a summarization job. And those are the core features of Text Cortex. Now they do have some other features. These aren't core features, but I thought they're worth mentioning as well. They do have a couple free online tools, like a paraphrasing tool a text summarizer, a YouTube description generator. Now these are free online tools that you can use. And if we just generate the YouTube description, there we go. And you can copy this to your clipboard, post it in your YouTube video. And they also have a Shopify extension on the app store. So if you have an e-commerce store, they have a product description generator, which integrates directly with Shopify, it looks like. Another cool feature is their reward center. So you can like send a video testimonial and get one month business for free and do all these cool things to get extra credits and stuff like that. Now let's look at the actual pricing for Text Cortex. Now I've compared this to various tools. Text Cortex has a very good free plan. So you can install the browser extension for free without putting an email or a credit card and you get 10 creations every single day for free. That's a great way to just test out the platform. And if you're doing under 10 creations a day, that might be useful for you. Now their main plan is $24.99 a month. And with this, you get unlimited creations. Basically overall, this is a really good priced product compared to Jasper, Copy AI, and Writer. So just remember this $25 unlimited. If we go to Jasper's pricing and we click monthly, their lowest plan starts at 59 a month. Here you get 50,000 words. Again, Jasper is one of the premier AI writing tools and it is very high quality, but again, you're paying double the price and you only get a 50,000 word max. And then it could easily cost you hundreds of dollars depending on how many words you're writing. If we go to copy AI, pricing. It's $50 a month and you do get unlimited words. However, it's double the price. Writer is a slightly cheaper option and it is marketing themselves as affordable. So it starts at $9 a month and for $9 a month, you get 100,000 characters per month. I'm not sure how many words that is, but that's probably what, like five to 10,000 words a month. Again, it's not unlimited. They do have an unlimited plan and it's $5 more than Text Cortex. But again, Writer is another good low cost alternative. However, out of all these options, Text Cortex is the cheapest choice with the most unlimited words and it has a very powerful dash board, which is why I think it's a cool tool that you should at least try out. Now let's quickly go over what do customers think. So I've looked at a lot of the reviews on Captera, the Chrome Web Store, uh, Trustpilot and all of that. And if we just go to the recent reviews, it's very hard to find ones that are negative. Even the four star reviews, they are very good. Best Jarvis alternative. But basically I went through them and the summary of these reviews uh, was that it's overwhelmingly positive. Most people think Text Cortex is smart, an effective AI writing tool that is competitively priced. The few complaints that I did find was that it's a little confusing at first. And sometimes you spend credits on text that aren't useful. And I have found that as well. Sometimes the outputs are not really giving me what I want, but you do get unlimited words so you can keep trying. It's not like you're wasting credits unless you're on the free plan. And to be fair, that does happen with Jasper, ChatGPT, all of the tools do give you outputs that aren't usable sometimes, but that does happen with Text Cortex as well. So that's the testimonials and what the customers think. Now looking at my overall pros and cons, Text Cortex has a thousand different integrations. It's worked on WordPress, Gmail, Notion, Google Docs, and loads of websites. I like the toolbar. Again, if we're just comparing it to WordTune, which gives you five outputs here, which is still good for writing. It's a great writing tool. I do like how Text Cortex gives you 10 features here and just a lot more customization. And then, like I mentioned already, the pricing plans are really good. Whether you want the free trial to test it out, no credit card required, very easy to sign up. 
You don't even need an email to try the browser extension. And if you do want the paid plan, that is very affordable as well for unlimited credits. Now looking at the downsides, like I mentioned, there is a two to 300 word limit on each creation which means it's a bit slower for long form content generation. There is a learning curve. Some reviews at least say it can be overwhelming at first. Although I personally found the user interface very easy. And personally, I think the toolbar is pretty easy to use. Once you just go through these 10 features, it does get pretty easy quick. Some of the really good templates and features are unavailable on the 2499 plan. So if you want the Xeno mode personal writing assistant where you can actually give it prompts, that's gonna be 79 a month. And the 60 plus templates are only available on the most expensive plan. This is a $24.99 plan and you see the templates here. The other con is, yeah, you don't get all the outputs you want and sometimes there are a few glitches here and there. But overall, with the price point, the integrations and the toolbar with 10 features, I really do like Text Cortex. This is a great alternative to Jasper, Writer and other AI tools if you want an alternative solution. If you want to try Text Cortex for free, Use the link below this video to get 10 creations every single day. And for more info, I'm going to link to my website so you can find the latest info on Text Cortex. Hope you found this useful. See you soon.